Hey guys, so here we have the OpsCore rail mount kit. This is kind of the arms that'll go on the adapters that I did in the previous video. I ended up canceling my order through Gentex and got these through OP Tactical. I think they still have them in stock. They got them in tan and black. And they also have the uh, actual OpsCore amp headsets in stock if you're willing to shell out the coin for those. But I just got the arms to install on the adapters that I got um, in the previous video and then we're gonna get it all set up. I've already uh, kind of played around with these but I put everything back in the package to kind of show you what you get um, except for the adapters I did um, keep installed on the arms themselves but I will go over kind of the packaging and everything that's included. But again to note I do have the adapters installed on the arms already so you get the two arms and then here are the original pieces. These are the pieces for the OpsCore amp headset. So set those aside because we won't be using them. And then the only other thing included in the package is these two triangles of loop Velcro. And then you have two strips of Velcro one wrap. And this is for organizing the uh, cord behind the helmet, which I'll show you in the instruction manual. Um, we won't mess with installing these. I'll do this here in a second. Shove those back in the bag. All right, so here's kind of the insert that it comes with. It's all the colors you can get. I didn't know they came in foliage green or urban gray. I've just seen the tan and black, but apparently you can get them in those other colors there. This kind of just goes over the pieces. And installation. And here's where you would use those Velcro pieces to kind of route your cable at the rear of your helmet. And then I'll kind of show you how the arms themselves work. Um, since I've pretty much done everything with getting the adapters installed on them. So here we have the arm, the adapter installed. So this is kind of like a ball pivot type deal. Pretty neat design. A lot of range of motion there. And then you can also adjust the length of the arms by just pulling out. It's pretty stiff though. Several adjustment positions there. That's the setting that I keep mine on. And then it's kind of just a hinge that you can close. It's a pretty solid feeling um, when it closes and opening. It's a good spring tension on it. And then here you have a little channel to kind of route your cable through. Helps with organizing it. And then here's the actual arc rail attachment. Which does rotate. Which I think aids in kind of stowing the headset when it's not in use. You can kind of flip them back and close them against the rear of the helmet but I haven't messed with it too much. So there you have it. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this on the headset and then get them mounted for you. And one thing to note while I have this here is um, on these adapters, this peg for the microphone, I've noticed that it is very loose. And I think that's because kind of like those nubs that you'd see that kind of hook into the gap of that microphone kind of sheared off. 
so it's pretty loose but I think you can probably shim it put a shim in between there to kind of increase the gap between those two prongs and kind of give it more surface tension on the microphone because right now it does swivel pretty loosely um, which I'm not a huge fan of and I will note now is that um, in my previous video I said that the axle adapters for the Peltor headsets didn't have a microphone attachment and I was wrong I had several people correct me on that it does have a microphone attachment um, if you order the contact version of the axle adapters um, but one thing to note about those axle adapters is that it's kind of a fixed arm and you can't rotate the microphone like this with the axle adapter so um, that's one benefit I think to these adapters still is the ability to kind of rotate the mic out of the way like that because I believe with the axle it is a fixed position for the microphone so there's that uh, let's get it installed on my helmet here this is my TMC Uh, it's like super flowing high cut helmet or something like that, but it's just a replica of the vented um, SF helmet um, from Opscore. Um, made by TMC. And then we'll get these situated on these rear rails here. And I will say I'm pretty happy with how, I guess, rigid the attachment of these are. It takes quite a bit of force to get them on the rails, which I've had some replica rails in the past to be very loose with uh, certain attachments. So I'm glad these aren't super loose. Um, they do take quite a bit of work to get them in the position that I want them in. There's that side. And I think I need to route the cable on this side before I move to the other side so I don't mess it up. Just kind of move it around and then go ahead and put this side in for now. Slide this one on the rail. Try to put this in a spot that you guys can see it. There we go. So there it is installed on the rail. And this is kind of the position that they're in when they're folded out, but when you want to press them against your ears, you can just kind of push down and they'll spring load tension, close on your ears. Do that on the other side. And then you kind of move them around to kind of situate them on your ears once you have them clamped in and then this is where you could kind of use those velcro pieces to kind of route your cable this is probably about where I would keep it you can use those uh, loop triangles you put them on the interior of the helmet and the velcro one wrap you can kind of create little rings to route the cable through up here And there's that. And then I have played around with it a little bit, but I have seen some people kind of um, flip them out and then rotate them. You can rotate them kind of behind your helmet to stow them that way. When they're not in use, I've seen some people clamp them down, but with the stuff on, that I have on the back of my helmet, I can't really clamp down both sides very well. 
So that's kind of as close as I can get with that. But all in all, I think they're a very, very worthwhile upgrade, especially when compared to the kind of standard Peltor arc adapters. I'm not a huge fan um, of the Peltor arc adapters in comparison to these after I've played around with these a little bit. Um, these are far more comfortable and I think it frees up some vital real estate on your arc rails. So there you have it. The OpsCore Amp arms on my Peltor Comtac 3 headset. Thanks for watching.